Hey guys, this is Sasha for NetbookNews.com and we are about to take a first look at the brand new Google Chrome Web Store. Google just announced this during an event in San Francisco today and they also had some announcements and updates on uh, Chrome and of course Chrome OS and their first Chrome Notebook CR48. Well, we would like to take a look at the Web Store and uh, of course I'm running it in the Chrome browser because it's just not running in a Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, um, Opera, whatever, you name it. So, um, well, basically it looks like um, an app store or web store that we already know from Intel with the App Up Center. And uh, what you can see over here are the different categories for the apps. And here are a couple of featured ones. And uh, I've been already pre-installing uh, some applications, different applications that I would love to show you so that you can see um, what you can really do to uh, do with it and uh, what what's your benefit out of it. Uh, well, first of all, you notice I'm, I'm locked in with my Gmail account over here, so this is something that you need, of course, to uh, download apps. Of course, there are also paid apps. You can see a bunch of top paid apps over here, uh, but I've been mainly focusing on the free apps, of course. Uh, I already pre-installed some of them. Uh, what you will notice is, if you, as soon as if you're opening a new tab, like over here, you can see all your apps that you installed already, and uh, all the websites that are you already visited. But that's something that you know already when you're a Chrome user. So uh, I've installed the Tweet Deck. I'm tweeting a lot, and. Uh, there you can see my tweet. It, it absolutely looks like the desktop application or even the application that I have on my iPad, but actually it's just running in a browser. So um, I, can, I can rearrange these columns over here. I can just use them in any way. So um, it's pretty easy to set up new columns. Actually, it is, again, it is the same in my opinion, the same as um, the desktop app that you can just download for free over a tweet deck. Um, I haven't uh, added my account for for Facebook right now, and you can also get a, your Foursquare in there and your Google Buzz, mainly using it for Twitter right now. And so this is the first time I tried a tweet deck in the Chrome browser as an application. Um, I've been also downloading a couple of games, you know what, uh, I never opened this uh, Tiger Woods one, so let's take a quick look. Okay, I kind of expected this. Uh, let's see how that looks like. So yeah, they have all kinds of, um, oh my god, I have to fill out a couple of things. Um, Let's get a name in here and uh, a quick password, and another password. And let's pretend that we are living in the US right now and let's come up with a fancy zip code. And uh, let's hope that this works out immediately so we can see how this looks like. But I'm pretty sure it should be the same as the ordinary Tiger Woods Online. So let's wait for some seconds and uh, oh, that email address is already in use, so sorry about that. Uh, I've been already playing it um, in another browser, so it just pretty much just connects you over to the EA Sports websites so you can play Tiger Woods online. You know, an application that I really love and I need to show you is just the New York Times, the new one. Um, so um, that's how it looks like. Uh, it looks completely different compared to uh, the website right now. It kind of reminds me uh, of the application that you can download to your desktop. And I think actually they're even using Flash for um, the desktop application. Not sure about the online one right now, if they're using our HTML5 maybe for it. So but what I would like to show you, let's take a look at the WikiLeaks um, article over here. So you can see it's it's pretty much the same as um, um, the desktop application. So you can just go through the article here and uh, 
just gives you a look and feel of using a magazine, uh, which I really like. So how about um, how about some pictures? Okay, well, what's what's going to happen if I'm clicking on a picture right now on nothing? And actually, it seems to me like uh, I have full access on the whole New York Times content, so there is no paid content available in here right now which is kind of cool. I'm not sure how long they will they will do this, so um, you better head over there and try it out. You know, fantastic job what New York Times did with this and a f really great application. Well, what else do we have? Uh, here's another tab and um, I've been I've been downloading the Google Docs application because I'm using Google Docs quite a lot and this is also something interesting. It's called Slide Rocket. What Slide Rocket is doing it is um, it is kind of tool to create a fancy looking uh, presentation so if you're tired of all this Microsoft PowerPoint slides right and you, you just can't take another presentation or someone on stage that is going through the same old boring PowerPoint slides um, yeah you can uh, easily create a new application over here um, with slide rocket you see so this that, that's a full application a full program running in my browser and it's running goddamn fast so uh whatever google did in terms of tweaking you know it looks really good let's take a quick look uh, again at uh, the web store itself i mean it's pretty much self explaining i don't think that i really have to rock you through all the different categories. Of course they've been also integrating their extensions and their themes. So this is now uh, the home base for everyone who's using a Chrome web browser and to be honest I'm I'm a big fan of the Chrome web browser even though I'm also using uh, Rockmelt as a secondary browser right now but every single one of my netbooks are immediately gets the Chrome browser installed because it's for me just um, the small uh, the, the the fastest one and uh, it gives me the most uh, you know, screen real estate due to its very minimal design and that's what I really like about it uh, okay I told you we have uh, different categories over here you know let's let's go back to the front page and let's see what what are the top um, paid apps right now and what is uh, Google offering if I would like to oh you know what we should try the Amazon Windows shop because I just saw this on the live stream you see I'm just installing it bang there it pops up on a new tab in my apps and let's start this and let's see how that looks like so yeah that uh so you can just grab the whole window here and move it around. So what's happening here? Okay. We have different categories over here. Uh, well, okay, I'm not into Levi's 512 uh, women's jeans at all. Well, when I'm not wearing them, they might be cool. Um, so yeah, that that's just a brand new experience for you to shop the Amazon website and I think they did a really cool job. Um, by the way they will also announce a Kindle for uh, the Chrome browser that means you will be able to download ebooks and read them in your Chrome browser. Okay what else do we have? Let's go back to the shop again for a little bit and let's sum it up because um, Oh yeah, the top paid app, Toddler Jukebox for one ninety nine. Let's see what kind of payment options uh, Google is offering me. Buy and install. Okay, so I can go for credit cards over here, and uh, I can also use the Google Checkout. Um, yeah, very easy to handle. It's just one click, and uh, as soon as we have your account set up. And you're connecting a credit card with your Google Checkout. This is just one click 
to buy an application. Right now there are around 500 applications on the Google uh, Web Store, on the Chrome Web Store and I think yeah again they did a fantastic job and this is really adding extra value for people who are mainly working in the cloud who are always online and using a browser and don't want to run an additional program but want to run apps programs and even content actually in the browser so this is the Chrome Web Store I'm Sasha for netbooknews.com Thanks for watching at my first look at this new Google feature.